Hey folks, just just checking in here. Um, I wanted to show you um, my Alcacia Laudabachiana. Seems to be getting some bloom spikes, and well, looks like maybe four of them in there. So that's something. Check that out. Um, this little guy chop the top off of and he's making a comeback and uh, things have been crazy it's been uh, I know I said that last time it's it's still true though um, where do I begin uh, it's been a weird year for weather I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that too um, It's been windy and quite dry. It's been very difficult to keep things watered. Um, I've had some setbacks with a few plants. Uh, still a lot of it doing okay, but still some setbacks. Um, let me see if I can show you. This kind of thing keeps happening um, between the wind and well, plants not being moist enough, so not bottom heavy enough. Uh, I keep having to come out here and set things back up. They just keep blowing over, uh, especially this very large Dracaena. Um, wind is crazy. With I had a couple of plants that went down. Um, weird things happening with some of them like what is this guy even doing he's got some color but he looks kind of shabby um, I had to figure that out <sighs> um, although Todd look at how much is going on with this guy and this guy he was starting to be a little bit wrinkled but uh, Gave him a little extra water. He plumped right back up. These guys are doing good. Not very dark, but I'm just trying to get them established. I don't want to burn them up, and if they're out in the sun, I'm less likely to see when they need some attention. Uh, so I'm just trying to keep them up here for the time being. What else? Oh. My little succulent pot is filling in quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bust this up this year and separate some things out, take some cuttings. Um, <sighs> these little guys in here are etiolating pretty crazily. Um, I can live with it. I, they'd probably do better, but some of these other guys I don't know, I think the moisture would be just too much if I put them out in full sun. There's no way to really, other than pick them up and carry them in and carry them back out and play that game, uh, there's no way for me to be able to monitor their moisture and their sun uh, easily. Um, new growth on the Alocasia Amazonica. I need to turn them anyway. It gets a little bit beat up out here. I don't, got a lot of falling pine straw, pine cones and stuff, but that's an old leaf anyway. That one's way back here, so I don't care if that comes off. Um, but one, two new leaves, and a couple of these have recently opened up, so, you know, he's doing his thing. I figure I'll just give him a turn and let him continue. What else? What else? What else? Hang on just a second. Got uh, three new olive trees. These are much bigger than the last ones I got. Um, marked down to 575 each. So, well, I couldn't say no to that, so I just got three of them. Uh, I think I'm going to give one to my sister, see if she wants to try her hand at that. I mean, you know, olives aren't super difficult to take care of. And they're borderline in our 
in our zone, so if we have a very cold winter, they're likely to lose a bit of foliage. Uh, most of it, actually, but, you know, we'll see. My syngonium is getting some nice coloring on these leaves. I keep them uh, back here under the dogwood. Uh, the backside's looking a bit shabby, but, but he's, he's filling in really well. Lots of new foliage. Some old stuff needs to come off. Uh, got some little spidery friends in here. Well, technically not a spider, but anyway. The main point of today's video is uh, this guy here. Which, sorry, the lights are directly above. You guys can tell what that is. It's a fiddle leaf fig. Lots of top foliage. Um, it's gonna wait a while and let them get root bound, but I'm not real happy with this medium. I think it it could do a lot better. Um, so, and if I need to, I'll pot down. But basically, I know these guys don't like to be disturbed very much, but it's a discount plant and a lot of times we learn our best lessons by um, <laughs> messing up. Um, so, sorry, you guys heard that, that's my cat, he's uh, a little plugged up still, uh, one of my cats, Tally. Um, He's hanging out with me out here. You can probably hear the birds in the background too. Um, I gotta show you guys the birds sometime. But uh, let me let me get this root ball untangled and see what we're dealing with here, and then I'll be right back. So I think when I got it, it was probably potted a little. A little too far up. This is mostly dug out. Uh, there's still a bit here and there. I'm not going to worry too much. Um, I'd rather not lose a bunch of roots just trying to get the old soil out, uh, which it it feels pretty close to what I was using or what I've been using for other things anyway. Uh, it's just like a cocoa coir. Um, real fine, soil-like. But it doesn't look too bad. Um, it's got these little babies down here at the base, which, um, seem to be doing okay. Little offshoots, so maybe it'll bush up a little. I don't know, we'll see how I feel about it. I can always trim it off if I don't like it, so. I'm thinking it might be best just to try to pot it back in what it was in. You guys know I don't really care if the pot's beautiful. I just want beautiful plants. So I think it'll probably do okay there. But I am going to refresh the soil. Um, so let me grab that. Give it a mix. Um, so just to catch you guys up again. I know it's been way too long. But... Um, some more changes at work, and I'm hoping we're coming to um, the end of the hard part of the year. Um, I was switched over to another department just because the department I was in I told you guys that uh, it gets so busy in the spring and summer that. Uh, that the, the department I'm in and our sister department, or department I was in, I should say, um, that we make up a, a large portion of the sales for the store for the year. And, uh, but this time of year, 
between those two departments, it slows down enough that they really only need one department supervisor to cover both. Um, the outside part slows down almost to a halt um, near fall. And the inside part slows down a bit, but then picks back up for the holidays. Uh, we sell a lot of holiday decorations and things like that. And there's another department on the other side of the store that needs more attention. Uh, that one, the department supervisor actually covers three departments for the first two quarters of the year. Um, and so because it's a pretty heavy department, uh, my store manager asked how I felt about taking two of those departments off of uh, that supervisor's plate for the second half of the year. And at first I was a little uh, apprehensive about it. The more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to learn another, another part of the store, um, work with some different people, get a change of pace. I generally tend to be the kind of person that if things become too stagnant, I, I get bored. Um, and I tend not to want to stick around when I get bored. It's just part of my personality. Um, so I'm learning two new departments and dealing with some product that I don't have any experience in really, um, or very little, best case scenario. So it's been a bit hectic yet again, um, but I'll survive, I'm going to be okay. We're now getting ready for inventory, and that is a huge task. Um, my store is just about a quarter of a million square feet, which, you know, that's not gargantuan, but that's, that's a good-sized store, especially for our area. Um, we are a, a pretty large volume store for our area. Um, we are, I guess you'd say, it's not rural really. I mean, it's a lot of rural areas around us, but certainly not an urban area. Um, and we do almost as much business as some of the stores that are in uh, Raleigh. So, it's a pretty decent sized store for our area. We have uh, really only, we're only gonna have about 15 people working on the inventory team. Um, and I'm lucky enough to be one of them. Um, which is fine. I know the store fairly well, and I've done inventory counts when I worked for other places, like when I worked for uh, Big Box Pet Store. I did inventory most of the time there. I was actually part of the shrink committee, so. Um, this is, that store was, I don't know, 15, 16,000 square feet, and we're talking about about 225,000 square feet in my current store, so definitely a difference. Um, we're getting pre-counts done, things like that. But anyway, you guys don't watch these videos to hear about my work life. I just wanted to get you caught up. So, bless you, Tally. Um, I think that's going to about do it. Um, get this guy watered in. I just used uh, fresh coir, a little bit of um, bark. I had some kind of dry potting medium that was really barky, 
and uh, I mix that in just for a little extra aeration and a little bit of perlite. Um, I'm just going to see how well that retains water uh, as this guy continues to grow. Anyway, I think this video is long enough for me just rambling while I put a, a plant in the pot. I did want to check in with you guys, let you know I'm still around. And I'm very sorry uh, videos have not been regular. Um, I'm hoping as I get into the holiday season, things will simmer down a bit. Um, it'll be a little less hectic. I won't have to play catch up um, in one department as I'm uh, exiting another department trying to trying to make sure things are still on track. Um, so I'm hoping I can make some more videos. Um, I have decided um, I'm probably gonna keep a decent amount of my orchids inside for a good portion of the year. This year has been horrendous. Um, it's been so dry and I've just not had the time to go out and take care of the orchids that I wanted to. And I think I mentioned in one of my last few videos, I've had some plants suffer because of it and I don't like that. So I am going to um, switch things up and I've got a room in the house that I definitely need to clean some old stuff out of and figure out a way to build some sort of shelving system, uh, preferably with some sort of plan for drainage because I cannot cart plants across the house all the time just to keep them watered. It's, it's getting a bit ridiculous. So, I was uh, at work and they were switching out some lighting displays and I got a killer, killer deal on one of the displays. This is a um, high bay LED. Um, it is extremely high power. It only uses about a hundred uh, watts of power, but now oh, I better not face that towards the camera. I'm going to plug it in so you guys can see. It's 15,000 lumens. It is quite bright. Um, it washes me out even with dirt on my hands. Of course, I'm, it's not saying much. I'm extremely pale. But um, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out the uh, spacing so that I'm not burning up plants, but providing them with plenty of light. Um, I just got some things to figure out with that, but um, anyway, have you guys uh, suffered any losses on your plants this year because of the unusual weather? Has your weather been great and plants thriving this year? Tell me what's going on. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I probably will include some information about lighting, uh, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while and have just gotten terribly behind on everything. Um, try not to make excuses, but it's just the reality of things. Um, I'll, uh, when I put things together for my plant space, that's going to basically be dedicated to plants year round. Um, I want to include some information about lighting and, um, what should be affecting your choices of lighting, uh, explaining color temperature and spectrum and all the different terms we have for um, or methods we have of determining brightness and and talking about some of that information there um, I don't know when it will be I would like to get on a schedule where I'm doing a video every other week um, until I can get back closer to a once a week situation. Um, I, I really hate being uh, so spotty with them. But I appreciate you guys that um, decided to hang around, stick it out. Uh, 
I appreciate you not getting frustrated with me. Um, I hope you have you guys have a, a great day, and I look forward to making another video for you guys. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, so please leave a comment, uh, hit like if you're new here, subscribe. Um, I try really hard not to ramble. Um, and here we are at almost 20 minutes of video. But I'm not so good. I, I try. I try. <laughs> and I appreciate your patience. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.